Hi everybody, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to another EYT video with me, Amy. It's really nice to have you joining me again today. So today we're not going to do it, focus on dancing as much as such. We're going to focus more on sort of mind, which you will probably have done a lot of in your acting classes, and focus more on movement and storytelling through movement. So our mind for today, we're going to base it on summer. So we're going to do a summertime mind. How exciting. Okay, so our stimulus or our theme that we're going to focus on is summer. So that's kind of the first thing we're thinking of is summer. So we're thinking about all the different types of things you do during summer. You go on holiday, you'll be at the beach, you might be at a swimming pool, you probably go abroad. Usually you would go abroad, but this year you might be staying at home because of the current situation. So thinking about ideas and what summer sort of means to you. And then once you've got that um, those ideas in your head, I've then got a little checklist for you to work on. And that's going to help you create your story, well, create your mind. So we have, oh, it's the wrong way out. We've got a few little points here. So the first one I want to focus on is, first of all, your storyline, okay? So you want to tell a story. So you could be, your story could be that you are going abroad somewhere new for the very first time. That could be your story. Or it could be your journey from your house to the airport and you being inside the airport. It could be a trip to the beach one day. All right, so first thing, number one, is I want you to focus on is your storyline. So what is the story you're trying to tell your audience? All right. Number two is your location. So where are you? Are you in Greece? Are you in Florida? Are you in Spain? Have you decided to go to a really cold country for summer? I don't know. All right, so think about that because that's going to really affect what you do as well. Number three, once you've kind of got all that, you've got your storyline, you know where you are, and you also know um, sort of maybe who you're going with and things like that, you will then start to think about your facial expressions. All right, so telling your audience that this is the main thing that we use and how we communicate with our audience when we're acting, even when we're dancing sometimes as well. So your facial expressions. So are you excited to be at this place? Have you been to this um, water park before? All right, are you scared of heights? Maybe you're at the top of the water slide and you're really, really scared. You're not going to be all cheesy. Okay, so think about your different facial expressions there and how you can communicate with your audience. Now the next one, once you feel really confident with what you've got, I then want you to move on to if you've got any costumes. So you might have something, for example, you might have some sunglasses that you want to wear or you might have a nice big sun hat, all right? You've also got some props. So you might have, if you're going to a really cold country, you might want to have the biggest jacket on in the world, all right? Or props wise, you could maybe use suntan lotion. You could get a bottle of suntan lotion. You could have, imagine you were having a really nice smoothie at the beach. You could get a, a cup that was with a nice smoothie inside it or something, all right? and incorporate that into your mind as well. So they're really good things to put in. And then the last thing is, even though it's a mind, sometimes it's quite nice to have music on in the background and that can be another sort of way to help you come up with some ideas. Okay, so the task for you today is I would like you to create a mind about summer using props, costumes, making it look really really good okay add in music in there if you want as well if you're still feeling you really want to dance in it rather than just do movement that's okay you can put in your favorite dance moves in there as well as long as you're having fun with it that is the main thing okay now if you think yours is really really good i would love if you could post them uh, to eyt and we could have a little look at them because i got a few videos in last week from my last video and it was really really nice to see you watching the videos taking it on board and then coming out with these beautiful routines at the end of it. They were really, really good. So good luck. I hope you enjoy it and I would love to see them. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. Bye.